So I decided to do my project on Impressionalism. Um, I picked this style and this art movement because it's one of my personal favorites. And I thought that since a lot of famous pieces and painters actually came from this movement, I thought that there would be a lot of great research out there to find and a lot of information that I'd be able to include that I didn't previously know about it. So on this slide, I just decided to include some famous and well-known pieces from this period. Um, I On the left side, I included the dance class by Edgar Degas. It is an oil on canvas piece. It was made 1874. Um, top right corner, I have the Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jete by George S. Surratt, also oil on canvas. It was made 1884 through 86. Something cool about this piece is that it's actually a pointillism style of art. It's when it was made with tiny dots rather than continuous strokes as most art is. Um, the pointillism style was actually inspired by the impressionalist style of art. So I thought that that one would be cool to include. And I also have at the bottom right corner, Summertime by Mary Cassatt. This one is also a oil on canvas piece. It was made 1894. So, Impressionalism was most prominent from 1867 to 1886. It was influenced by many French painters. Um, Edward Manet is known as the father of Impressionalism. And other famous artists include Camille Pizarro, Edgar Degas, Claude Monet, and Pierre-Auguste Renoir. Um, impression painters focus on people doing everyday tasks and scenes rather than sitting in a posed position as was popular in the European style. They also focused on outdoor scenes as <coughs> like um, countrysides or landscapes or things of that nature. Uh, these art art artists also used very vibrant colors which gave their pieces like more realism and more depth than um, and more tone that had been seen in European styles of art. So this piece is A Holiday in Mintone by Charles Condor. It was made in 1888 and is an oil on canvas piece. I picked this one because I think it represents the vibrant color aspect of Impressionist art. Um, Condor uses a lot of bright colors to make the people stand out from each other in the sky looks very blue and the trees in the background like all the colors were used to make your eyes notice different things about this piece and I think that um, shows a lot about the time that it was made the next piece I included is called a still life with a fruit basket um, a kitchen table it was painted by Paul Cezanne in 1880 through 1890 I thought this piece illustrated Impressionism by being a very everyday scene, like a kitchen table, kind of like a breakfast scene with fruit, tea, coffee, things of that nature. And I thought that the colors he used are very vibrant. Everything stands out from each other and makes your eyes go in different places. I really like the way that light was used in this picture, this painting also, because um, even though you're immediately drawn to the center of the painting and the table, the light also helps you notice like the chair in the background or like things that are on the desk. So like, everything in this painting is something that's noticed. Like, every, nothing was put there randomly and the artist really helped us um, notice everything by his use of light. And this piece is called The Card Players, also by Paul Cezanne. It is an oil on canvas. It was made in 1893. I included this one because um, it shows how Impressionalism different from the European style because these two men aren't posing for to be painted. In particular, they're just living their lives playing cards and then actually made a great piece and a great iconic image. So um, I believe that the most immediate and most maybe obvious influence of Impressionism would be post-Impressionism. This um, style of art was mainly influenced by artists such as Van Gogh, who focused mainly on how realistic scenes made people feel rather than how just they looked. 
um, this style of art had a, a lot of focus on subjectivity rather than realism as impressionism had. Um, for example, for from this movement, I included a vase with 12 sunglasses, a piece by Van Gogh. It is an oil on canvas from 1888. Um, how this piece might make one feel is that it's 12 sunflowers, but we see that some are possibly dying. So it kind of makes you feel maybe a bit sad or wonder like why the sunflowers aren't, you know, the sunflowers usually make you feel happy or make you feel like summer but when you see sunflowers that are dying it gives you like the opposite effect so a post impressionist artist would take that feeling and use it to create an image that um like this one that evokes that type of feeling from someone that's viewing their work